Hello Super User and welcome to the second video of the basics of Keyboard Maestro. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use Keyboard Maestro to help us manipulate layers, all while using the selection tool and doing things quickly, easily, and all with the keyboard. And in this lesson, we're actually going to create seven different macros, so you're going to get a lot of practice about the process of creating simple macros, as well as you can see how we can use a collection of macros to really create a more complete way of working with Finale simply using the keyboard. So the first macro we're going to create is we're going to switch layers only using the keyboard. That's the layers we have down here to switch between 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the same different layers that you'll often use when inputting notes. So if you want to input notes in layer 2, you have to switch to layer 2. Same thing with layers 3 and 4. Now obviously, it can be really slow if every time we switch layers, you have to come down here to the lower left hand corner and then manually select the layer. Or the alternative way of doing that is coming up here to the view menu item, select layer, and then selecting the layer. Now you may also have noticed that there's a pre-assigned keyboard shortcut to each of these layers, command option one, and so you do command option one, two, three, or four. If you look at the bottom left hand corner, you can see the layers changing. But this is a ridiculously inconvenient keyboard shortcut, and it really contorts their hand. So we're going to change it to something simpler. So let's go over here back to Keyboard Maestro, create a new macro, which is the plus sign, new trigger, hotkey trigger, and we're going to set the hotkey trigger as option one. It can be anything you want, but I just like using option one, two, three, and four for the different layers. It's easy to use with the hand if you use the thumb on option and one, two, three, four work really well with your other fingers. So let's title this layer one, new action. We're gonna use a menu item. You're gonna learn that we're gonna use menu item a lot. And then over here, click menu, finale, which is the application. And then we're gonna come over here to view, select layer, and then layer one. And there you go. We can manually go to layer two now, and if we hit option one, we move to layer one. Now we can actually do the exact same type of macro for all the other ones. The easiest way to do this is select the macro, hit command D to copy it, and then we're gonna copy it three more times. And so we're gonna call this one layer two, do option two, change this to layer two. The next one, layer three, option three, and change this to layer three. And the final one, we're going to do layer 4, option 4, and then change this to layer 4. And so then back in Finale, we can easily go back and forth between layers 1, 2, 3, and 4, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner. Now what if we want to move music from layer 1 into layer 2? Well, the two ways you can do it normally in Finale is right-click, move and copy layers, contents of layer 1 into layer 2, and then hit OK, and it's moved. Alternatively, you can do the same thing by highlighting, going up here to edit, move and copy layers, and it brings up the exact same menu box. We can do contents of layer one and a layer two and hit OK. But we can actually speed this process up with Keyboard Maestro as well. Come back over here, we're gonna create a new macro with the plus sign. And just for reference, you can also create a macro by just using Command N. And we're gonna call this move to layer 2, which will move the music to layer 2. New trigger, hotkey trigger, and for this one, let's just do command shift 2. Again, you can choose whatever you want. Hit new action, select the show menu item, menu, finale, which is the application, and then we're going to go over here to edit, and then finally move and copy layers. And so if we were to do command option 2, it brings up this menu dialog box. Now we have to select this button, the contents of layer 1 into, that way you can select that and then finally hit OK. So back over here in Keyboard Maestro, there's a, another action called a button. So we can press a button. Here we need to type out exactly the button name. In this case it was contents of layer 1 into. The layer 2 drop down menu wasn't part of the button, so we don't include that. And then we can duplicate this, Command D, and hit OK. So now if we do Command Shift 2, it does the entire macro for us, and the music's in layer 2, and that's really cool. And so now let's do
Do the reverse, where we're going to move the music from layer 2 into layer 1. Come back up here, copy this macro, command D, move music to layer 1, command shift 1. We can use the same menu command, and instead of contents of layer 1 and 2, we want to press the button that's contents of layer 2 and 2, and then hit OK. And if we go over here and do command shift 1, it moves music into layer 2. But even cooler than that is we can actually combine both of these scripts as well to swap music between layers 1 and layer 2. So back over here into Keyboard Maestro, we're going to duplicate this script, and we're going to call this Swap Layers 1 and 2. We're going to do a hotkey of Shift Command 3, to do the exact same menu command, Contents of Layer 1 and 2, we want to keep that, but we also want to press Contents of Layer 2 and 2. And so we just duplicate that and hit OK. Now if we come back here to Finale, where we do Command Shift 3, it swaps the music between Layer 1 and Layer 2. And again, that's really cool, and if you made it this far, you'd be able to see the power that we can use Keyboard Meister to interact with pretty much any dialog box we want in Finale. And this method of using triggers and actions is how most people use Keyboard Meister and how most people can really speed up their workflow in Finale. However, there are three big questions you may have after this introduction to Keyboard Maestro. The first is, is it really worth spending five minutes to just save five seconds with a simple script? After all, doing right click, move copy layers, one and two, okay, isn't really that slow. So is it really worth it? Secondly, you may have noticed that we might actually end up with a bunch of really difficult and complicated you know, keyboard shortcuts to work with because every single macro needs a different keyboard shortcut. So aren't these shortcuts going to become really complicated once we really create hundreds of macros to help speed up Finale? And thirdly, how are you supposed to remember all of these shortcuts? After all, literally throughout this course, we're going to make hundreds of macros. Isn't that a lot to ask for? Aren't you going to spend more time memorizing these shortcuts and actually creating the macros than they'll save you? And these three big questions, these three big challenges, these three big hurdles are what stops most people from using Keyboard Maestro really efficiently. Luckily, in the next module, we're going to go over a really clever and simple solution to solve all of these problems called palettes. I can't wait to share that with you, and I will see you in the next lesson.